Hello, in this tutorial we will learn how to use inbound and outbound function in asset management module in D365 supply chain management. Uh, in corrective maintenance there are some time that you need an inbound and outbound process of the asset. Uh, in, in practical scenario if you see the process is like an asset which is working somewhere uh, outside of the functional location where the asset belongs to and he has some issue and the moment he has an issue he call back to his workshop and he say that I need to repair something and I need to come back and do the repair or something right it could be happen any any cases like what we did it in the corrective maintenance uh, uh, demonstration time right it could be accidental it could be normal problems which happen daily which is which is not unplanned which is not planned actually which is unplanned some accidental issues happen uh, some other things could be happen some hazard things happen then the asset got some issues so <clears throat> uh, here is our story today uh, there is a Komatsu drum truck uh, which is working in the mining site 100 km far from Norilax in northern Siberia dump truck driver feel he has some issue in the hydraulic due to the cold season in the arctic region driver called the no relax workshop where the asset belongs to about the problem and book a mechanical appointment for 10th of may 2020 so this is the process which we are going to do actually uh, while they are in the call we're going to create an uh, request and we'll define whatever the faults he is facing what is the time he is going to come down actually is there any downtime needed or anything so that uh, then we will have an asset to be arrival in the place and once the asset arrived in the place we will make a gate entry for the assets then we'll check the asset physically and if, the, if there is an issue we will convert the asset uh, the, the the maintenance request to end work order after that uh, we're going to estimate the work order anything we need to have that or not depending on the problems or anything and then we'll check our stock do we have in the stock or not and based on that we're going to commit to the customer when we can uh, deliver these assets uh, after uh, reconditioning the things right and then we will schedule the work order then we'll follow the process of the work order release then progress then complete the checklist then register the consumption whatever you are actually using for that and work order you will finish it so here the moment is finished you will call that guy who actually owns the assets or who is responsible for the asset that the asset is ready you deliver it the moment is delivered the gate pass will be issues to out get out basically get in and the get out process basically when we start the arrival and the receive this is a get in process which is we call a get entry and uh, and this uh, once it is delivered it is out actually get uh, you you are making out from your uh, from your workshop once that is done then automatically we're gonna close the maintenance request in the system okay so let's move to a demo um, and see that uh, how it can be done this demo would be a little bit of lengthy I will try to make it fast and let's see how it goes actually so back to starware before I go there are some setup needed on the license configuration side you guys needs to know that uh, in the current uh, situation uh, we basically uh, go to the license take the system in the maintenance mod and from here we gonna put the uh, inbound enable okay to doing that uh, process to be enable in the system and once it is enable under the asset maintenance uh, under the setup under the maintenance request i created couple of new status uh, that is called inbound and which is inbound okay 
and there is an outbound i make it outbound this process is outbound okay so this is how we gonna use it so so let's see our asset first where is our asset so asset start with the dump truck uh the dump truck uh this is the dump truck kumatsu <clears throat> this is the model this is the detail and all these things okay all right so what we're gonna do actually we're gonna first create a maintenance request as per the flow and the guy he gonna call to the workshop and uh, tell his problem actually So I choose my asset, uh, my asset is D, start with D, this is the dump truck and I will tell the fault, fault I haven't created that exactly the issue as equipment jam, it is a mechanical area and it is fault type you can choose if you have uh, it's creating issues or something. So this, this note is that uh, dump truck facing some issue of I jam. Okay. make it okay let's create that so our uh, things got created which is new and uh, <clears throat> then the asset uh, has arrived before an asset arrived somebody has to go and verify the asset we say verify and then we're gonna put it what is that it is uh, basically a repairing and I said this is this this is right and <clears throat> this is uh, say mechanical problem and we save the data and then we change the status here we say inbound and I say when I receive that inbound is a 10 a ten a okay right <coughs> so the moment you see this one is done uh, you can see the expected arrival of the asset has been uh, has been has been captured over here that this is the time when this asset is going to be arrived basically okay and that is the expected arrival then what you need to do basically you have to go to the um, uh, inbound and outbound menu you can find out the inbound asset is already here you say that you receive that asset and what time you are received the asset you say that the 10th and I, I receive it 10, 11 a.m. So asset got uh, asset got received in the system. This is a gate entry has been happened, and from there uh, it is a normal procedure. Uh, we need to follow uh, follow our dump truck process. You can see this is repair, <clears throat> and you can see the status got changed here received already so now once it is received i i say that everything good i'm going to add into a pool if i know the pool which pool i'm going to i say it is a day shift let's add that one and then i create and work order for that so i know this is a problem this is the things expected end i know uh, it's uh, it's I, I i can define that one i can define later as well i say that it should be ready by 11 uh, 16 okay so work order got generated depending on our setup so we can just open that uh, maintenance request and <coughs> and go inside of the work order and then we'll complete the process okay so here goes uh, the notes the notes and this is the work order so work order needs to be estimated 
uh, it is already estimated if we need to add something we can add something depending on our uh, journals and all these things so what i'm going to do first i'm going to do the schedule the work order let me do this one very quick so at least uh, we can finish this one very quickly right, scheduling from batch. so it is got scheduled so let's see whom it has been allocated it's allocated uh, someone else here and then what i'm going to do actually once it is done uh, I, i'm going to release that work order uh, in the floor uh, for the processing the things okay and uh, Sorry, I need to just dispatch that one basically. Dispatch <coughs> to me. <coughs> and I said schedule start from 10th uh, early morning in the 7 a.m. Okay. Okay. Because my setup is dispatch and all these things are there, so that's why. So now I'm going to put it in, in progress. I say it is started in progress on 10th morning, uh, 7 a.m. So it, it's uh, the rest of the process is very, very uh, same what we have done in the corrective maintenance stuff in the previous video. If you can uh, see that video, uh, you can understand how that process can be done actually. So what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm just, I'm not doing anything actually. If, uh, if I have a checklist or anything, I can add it over here, okay? And I can do one thing here, I can just uh, complete the journal here. That the person has been taking 11 hours time and uh, copy from the forecast. Our gentleman has been uh, completed uh, 12 hours time, okay? And I say that uh, yeah, this guy also taken one one inventory, which is SR. Sorry, this should be SR. I said that I taken an item actually, some bullet. I said this is the one whatever the price let it be there and uh, good uh, we are good to go so we have registered everything say so we have our checklist we completed the things and now we're gonna close that uh, uh, particular uh, work order uh, that it is ready <coughs> completed said it's got completed on yeah, 11th, 11, 3 p.m. And it's got a dead. No, 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 no. Oh, i sorry. I think I have put the wrong warehouse. <laughs> sorry. This is the one which we need to put it here. Display dimension. Warehouse. I put that one in the last uh, warehouse, which is an 11 warehouse 11. So then it's gonna be able to post that because my stock is lying over there. Okay. Let's do that one one more time. Completed. And say this is completed. It's got completed now. I think all the journal and everything has been locked in inside and then i'm gonna add the uh, just complete the finish the things <coughs> so it is finished so i go back to the the one 
and I say it is completed now and I, I, I say that I call the owner and say that hey guys uh, your things are ready for the delivery let's change that uh, I'm gonna say that 11 and expected delivery should be 17 uh, 17 okay so technically once we've done that things and basically what it happened that the status got updated as a delivered and the expected uh, you know uh, outbound arrival would be 5 p.m on that so here what uh, when he taken the car and uh, come with the come with the uh, sheets so it, it will be here and the gatekeeper who is in the sitting in the gate and the asset got delivered he has to sign and what time he gonna register it uh, it has been registered at 6 p.m uh, of that day so it is done so if we go back to our work order you can see that the work order got uh, completed uh, sorry the maintenance request got uh, completed here so as it verified here you can see it is closed now so this is how basically you can utilize inbound and outbound process I just put a general idea how it worked with an example I I hope this video uh, gonna help you out uh, to you to how to use inbound and out